want to talk for a minute about why ionic strength effects are so important in accurately predicting the concentration of chemical species involved in equilibrium reactions and the molecular origin of the ionic strength effects. Ionic strength effects model the formation of what is known as the ionic atmosphere around cations and anions that are dissolved in an aqueous solution. Any cation or any anion that's dissolved in an aqueous solution will develop an ionic atmosphere. And an ionic atmosphere is a collection of ions of opposite charge that are held at a distance around a cation or an anion suspended in an aqueous solution. And the reason the ions are held at a distance is because of what's known as a hydration sphere. So you can think of during an aqueous reaction, cations and anions have opposite charges and they are therefore attracted to each other. In aqueous solution, water molecules, which form ion dipole interactions with the various ions that are dissolved in solution, surround the cations and the anions, creating this hydration sphere, a kind of shepherding envelope of water molecules around the ions. If you're a negative ion, if you're an anion like chloride, the relatively positive end of water's dipole, the hydrogen atom, is pointed towards the negative charge. And if you're a cation, the relatively negative end of water's molecular dipole is pointed towards the positive charge. However, outside of these hydration spheres of water molecules and intercalated into them to a degree are also any other positively or negatively charged ions that can feel an attraction towards the dissolved ions in solution. And so negative ions, anions dissolved in the solution, will be attracted to any cations that are dissolved in solution, and any cations will be attracted to any anions that are dissolved in solution. If the only species dissolved in solution were the species that you need to do an equilibrium reaction, where ions come together to form a compound or a complex, like iron three plus reacting with thiocyanate forms an iron thiocyanate complex ion, well then the reaction is relatively easy because these thiocyanate ions are attracted to the iron cation and vice versa. And they slowly penetrate that shepherding envelope of hydrated waters that surround the ions and then they can actually form a chemical bond. In real solutions, though, iron and thiocyanate would not be the only ions that are dissolved in the water during the course of this reaction. There would be spectator ions, potentially like nitrate, potassium, sodium, chloride. These are ions as well, and they feel an attraction towards the iron 3 plus cation in the case of the anions. And the cations, potassium and sodium, would feel a meaningful but not necessarily particularly strong attraction to the thiocyanate. And so these other ions in solution that are essentially just spectators still have electrostatic interactions with the dissolved ions that are actually taking place in, in the reaction. And the other spectator ions sit kind of at the periphery of that hydrated envelope of water molecules around the outside of an ion that they're attracted to, not forming chemical bonds, but still electrostatically attracted to the ion. And so when in a real solution, when iron three plus and thiocyanate have the opportunity to collide with one another and form a chemical bond, in that real solution, those spectator ions are forming an ionic atmosphere, a kind of protective shell of opposite charge, which repels the other ion and makes this type of chemical reaction harder. So for instance, if there was nitrate dissolved in the solution, you have a bunch of nitrates lined up around the water molecules hydrating the iron three plus, forming a region of negative charge, which would weakly, re weakly repel the thiocyanate and the opposite for the thiocyanate. You have an envelope of potassium ions lined up around the thiocyanate's hydration sphere, and this is the ionic atmosphere. It is a region of opposite ionic charge that makes it more difficult for oppositely charged ions that need to find each other to undergo a chemical reaction to actually collide effectively and undergo that chemical reaction in a real solution, a solution with a measurable ionic strength. And so this is what our ionic strength effects and ultimately our activity coefficients are actually modeling 
is the impact, the electrostatic repulsion that the ionic atmosphere creates and makes these type of equilibrium reactions more difficult than they would be if it was only the ions we were interested in in deionized water.